How y'all doing out there? It's Coach McFadden, head coach, TC High School, one culture. Uh, and today I want to go over using the drive concept, uh, NFL-style concept that everyone uses. I know the LA Rams are big in using it. The Lions are big in using it. Everyone uses it, but a lot of people use it a lot more than others. It gives your quarterback clear to find read. And now that we're going to show what you're seeing here, I'm going to show you how to use motion with it. And then just straight, just formational way to use it. I'm just go over a couple things. Again, everything is subject to what you want to do and your program, your personnel. I'm just giving you ideals. And I don't like this when people think like someone's trying to outsmart somebody. No, I've been in the game a long time and I played a lot. And I've had a lot of coaches from, you know, every type of level, really, that's been able to teach me things. So I just want to share knowledge. All right, so that's what with that just went. So let's talk about this. So as you can see on the screen, this is one of our formations in eight man. When it was eleven man, it'd be two more guys, uh, probably another receiver. You know this, so it, it kind of you have to modify it when you're playing eight man. It's it's you got to be a little creative. So you know we still want to be able to run the football. And we run the football to different personnel sets, but this is one of our um, you know big ones right here. If you you want to kind of condense and uh, put the quarterback as a runner and things too. So this the tight ends on the line. The Z will be off the line, playing the H back role. Okay. So the whole point is, if we're just gonna snap it, just like as as we're doing right here, um, just to kind of we we've been running the ball, running the ball, running the ball, and now we need to get you know something with no motion or anything. We're gonna snap. This is our check hot route. This is if our guy feels like he can beat this, right? And, and right now, this is like a, a deep slant post-looking thing. We'll turn it into a uh, uh, now. We'll turn it into a stick. We'll turn it into a go nine. Bang, or we'll bang that route. Boom, just take off if we feel like we can. And the quarterback and receiver on the page. And this guy, this is our isolation receiver, sorry, um, that I like to call him. He's, one of, he's probably going to be your best athlete, your best receiver. Thank God at TC, we do have a couple of these guys. We have a couple, which has been a blessing um, as our program is starting to really develop. So this guy is your isolation guy, you know. Um, and you're hoping – the reason why we'll put a post on top of this is to see if we can pull the safety. Or we'll put a go, and, and if the corner's playing zone here, try to get that safety. Because the sa And what we want to do is if the safety jumps here, then here's here, right? So um, really, that's a that's a – game planning type thing because what we want to do is keep the quarterback on track and what people don't understand is in a lot of nfl concepts it's keeping the quarterback on track with a fast progression read right that's that's really what it is so um what we're really looking at here is to get our the this is our drive route right he's you want to take a step in right he's going to step hard shoot up the field go about seven to ten and run that deep dig Right. And this has got to be, you know, your tight end is a matchup nightmare. They're in the zone. Get behind those backers. Right. He's got to get behind fine green grass. It's a it's an airy philosophy on this one to find a green grass and win yourself in coverage. And if he has a city sits, this is this is our sorry. That's our dig. This is our drive. Our drive is boom. Come dig off the line, drive off the line. And this you're running a front of linebacker. So this really is a pick and choose. And the linebacker is going to tell you right away what they want to do. And then, you know, you can hit it here. You can hit it here if they drop all the way up. You know, that's why this guy's head's got to be on the swivel, ready to roll. And if they decide to play deep zone, you know, hook to curl, hook to curl, and the guy's in the middle, boom, this is just to take your money. This is something that Cooper Cup and, and, and Stafford run a lot. And, and now uh, Nakora, Nakua, love that kid. He runs it too now. So this is a quick money get you right. And, and I've seen when the Colorado, Colorado State game, this was, you know, it was the – the shallow route, basically, you know, we call it drive a shallow, whatever you want to call it. This is what they ran a lot of, and they were eating the zone, you know. And then with this guy, is, he's a check guy in, in in this formation. He's going to check, make sure there's no one flying off because, um, you know, in every form of football, they like to the blitz. But in eight men of football, whew, man, they always try to get you that delayed blitz or that overload, and we love it. Keep it up because either A, you're running right into it, or B, we're checking on you and we got a hot. So your corner can be sitting. If they blitz a guy, you know, this is also a little hot here, right? Or we can, or this guy here, if we see a hot, heavy blitz coming, then they're just going to check this to an out. And, and we're going to have our guy either beat the corner one-on-one or that zone's chilling and he's going to beat him.
different ways to skin the cat, not not one way and no one's trying to be a genius, right? It, it's football, man. This is what it's about. Um, so this is our check route. And then what we really love to do is this guy squeezes in. He's going to, you know, he'll just shoot out. Well, we've had one-on-one -on -one out here. And my philosophy is let the corners try to tackle. If the corners want to try to tackle, cool. You know, and, and we want to try to get one-on-one -on -one with the corner and let's see what you got. You know what I mean? So and our running backs are usually pretty physical guys. So we like that. Now, um, and, and I always like doing this live because, you know, it just is what it is. So now let's say we move out in our, you know, I call it our spread formation, you know, just like it would be in 11 man. So now here this is. So now this is even without any motion too. You run the same concept here, right? And then what this is, we'll, we'll probably check. So he'll he'll block here, you know, like he's, if it's going to be a play action fake. And then he'll probably sit, you know, kind of run a little sit route. Um, and what this is after this has been cleared. Okay. So let, let me be totally, let me be transparent here. This is once this has been cleared and we're trying to hold the middle back or something, right? But he, he's on, that's his only trigger on that. If not, all he's going to do is check, check and, you know, or, or swing, get back with the swing route. Um, we, we've only had him sit as if this guy was getting jammed up, right? Because they were trying to jam him up and it was taking time. And then the quarter, he would just sit and take that roll. And this guy would know to pretty much chill out. Like he's going to call it settling down. And now we can try to bring that middle backer up to hit here. That's more advanced football. We've we very rarely had to do that. That that's only if we're feeling it. Like if we're like, ah man, you know, this guy's been getting jammed up tonight. Um, but this is without using motion. And then at that point, as I'll show you, we'll start using motion to get him open. Or we'll just do a standard check. His first thing is protect quarterback's butt. And then he can he can go out into the flat area. You know, um, if the cornerback's just chilling out there and, and on his heels. Yeah, he's going to go out there. We're going to try to – if you know, this is our last read. But, hey, man, one-on-one -on -one with the corner, I'll take it every time. Um, So let's say the guys have been getting jammed, as I alluded to. We just use the motion. Motion, 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 motion. Don't go towards the line, right? It's always straight down. I know it's not beautiful. And then once he snaps, we're getting about three yards of snap. Boom. Same – nothing changes here, right? It's just motion – to the drive concept, uh, you know, uh, something that, again, the Rams love to use this as well. It, it's a great concept. So let's say, you know, sometimes we like to stack our receivers out in the boundaries, you know, uh, play more like the Tennessee style, right? So we go here, and this at the end, this is backside reads. This is backside, um, sorry, guys. This is backside stuff here. Again, all rules still apply. All rules still apply from what I just first told you. So nothing's changing here unless we change the route. And that's something the quarterback receiver work on. It could be in game planning. So really, because you understand a lot of NFL concepts, they're only looking on one side to do this stuff. They're not, yes, there's progression reads, of course, but they're only looking to isolate. So we're just looking to isolate with a hot check, with a hot read. That And, and you know, it, it's just what we do. So this is what we like doing too is we like bringing the guys out and then running the drive concept here to pull that backer all the way out and then try to get them to chase and, and then see this open area too, get the safety to see what he wants to do. And what they'll like to do is they, this is when they start to like to jam. They start to see us isolate way out. Then their, their philosophy is jam and triangle. Cool. Now we're going to run our dagger concept underneath you. We're going to probably dig over you. We got a hot check one on one here that we're going to take because if you commit your safety all the way over here, <clears throat> quarterback count the box. He could then we'll check into a run, or he's going to try to hit the isolation one on one here because this safety is nowhere to be found. So what we're trying to we want the safety to stay in the middle. Then we'll just kill you slowly, death death by a thousand cuts. Right? That's what that's what I'm trying to tell you guys. These, these are <clears throat> these are great concepts to use. <clears throat> Different formations, more plays. I mean, <clears throat> sorry. Let's play more formations, but don't get this twisted. You can tag anything you want. We can concept anything we want. Just because I say less plays doesn't mean there's three or four plays. There's a lot of concept plays. 
that we can call that our boys remember based off the concept. So, you know, I love that when, when the coordinators, you know, they, they tell, you know, like, well, we can stop that. Many have tried. There's different concepts everywhere. So sometimes what we'll do is we'll take this guy off the line. We'll put this guy on the line because it's fun. You know, I find this stuff super fun. And then what he will do now is he will motion just slightly. And it gives the quarterback a great read, right? He'll motion and then he'll hit his same um his same run. Sorry, guys. So he's here to here to dig. And and right away he's driving, right? He's gonna drive. Check. Check to where? To flat. Check to flat. You know, like I know I told you we go over to Middleton. That's only in a specific situation. And we'll probably call the Z to to go um drive to go. And and that's a game plan thing if we're gonna check him. So that right there, it's you know, it's a little motion we use there. Um, what I really love to do at times is again, like I said, we move this guy around. So if we move this guy, like we'll we'll put him in a heavy run situation. Um, let me say he'll again the the motion to what? To the drive, to the dig. Um, and the only reason why I'm doing that, guys, is because it is, you know, and then this. It's got drive concept. You know, drive underneath. Uh, like, what if we do it from the other side? Well, great question. The other side is awesome. So what all he's going to do is we're going to have him here. See, yeah, this is why sometimes I can't stand up. So he's going to go here to here to drive. To a underneath um, dig. It's it's not even going to go. He's going to just cut in, get in front of the backers, go here. His drive concept is one on one, and we're hoping to just isolate the guy, man. If if these backers got to run, we know there's going to be a backer here. Safety's going to fly over here. Corners here. If it's man, we're going to outrun him, and then we're you know we know the corners coming. So at corner eight, so if that backer's coming, he's going to check to flat. So now we're playing a one on one game. This at this part with this dig route, it's a mini dig as we call it. It's kind of something that um. I got over when I was hanging out at Wayne State University. It was one of the coaches did this for the drive concept. And he said it's a little kooky, but the player still knows what he's running. He still knows it's going to be somewhat of a dig. And this, at this point, you can change this into a, you know, a go um, or even still an out, try to get it out. So you can still change this up so this doesn't get in the way of this. And really what this becomes is a two-man game on this side now. It's still drive concept because the wide's got to understand I'm still running the dig. The wide's got to understand it. That's why I'm telling you guys more formations, less plays, but more concepts where the guys hear, and this is NFL style play calling. They hear drive. Everyone knows what their job still is and you can put it anywhere. So just because he's in an awkward position and it doesn't look what you've seen here, doesn't mean anything. He can go here. He can turn it up. He can go even farther. So this becomes a drive. This becomes a dig. I don't know why I keep doing that, but it is what it is. He, this goes to dig. This is still the drive, and this is still the check to swing. Or it could be automatically swing. You could you can motion this guy and swing him out right away into the flat, which is something we like to do too, that, to try to get these guys moving their feet and see where our opening is. Um, again, this is our hot check. Hot check right here. They, he understands. X always understands I'm the hot check on this one. Um, the Z's always running the uh the the drive route. The Y's running the dig route, it, unless we call a call in our huddle that flips it, and then the X will know. Now I'm running the drive, and the Y's Y's always running the dig, and then the, all that's going to change is me and the Z change our responsibilities, and then the 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 T F whatever you want to call it, your tailback position. He understands, and now I got to check flat on that side. I got to check the flat on that side. And that's how we kind of mess around with the drive concept, using motion, formation. You know, I mean, especially in eight-man, sometimes we'll stick the guy just right here. Sorry, delete that. We'll stick the guy behind this guy, and his job is to fight, boom, dig it. 
fight, boom, dig it, get your butt, and this guy's going to take a stutter step, boom, boom, and then he's going to go. And this takes time. You know, if you're in your deformation and stuff, this is going to have to be repped out, and, and, and he's going to, you know, he's got to take off. Boom, 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 boom. And again, now we're playing triangle games. All right, so that's a couple different ways we use it. Like I said, man, take it, leave it, do what you want with it. It's cool. I'm just trying to give you guys ideas if you want to expand on it. If you don't like it, that's cool. If you do, cool, man. Um, again, I'm just sharing knowledge. I love this stuff. It's what I do. It's it's you know it's not who I am. It's what I do. But I do this really well. And God has given me the gift of just being able to coach football like the rest of you men. And I just hope that we can share with each other and, and have a great community. Please follow the channel. Any ideas, again, like I said, coachmcfadden88 at gmail.com. That's my personal email. You can hit me up on there and ask questions, man. And, um, you know, God bless you guys. Have a great day.